Welcome to my video on how to access the Google Classroom and join a Google Meet. So you can log in with the quick card given to your child by holding it up to the camera on your child's Chromebook. Please make sure to take a picture of this quick card as you can use the picture on your phone if you lose the actual quick card. So here is what the first screen will look at, like when you get on the computer. And what you wanna do is go down here at the bottom where it says next and click on that little blue box. After that, it's going to look like a camera, almost like it's taking your picture. This is when you need the quick card. You hold the quick card in front of the computer and it will automatically log you on. Now, we've noticed a little something. If you have already logged on to your Chromebook and you decide to close it like this Chromebook over here, when you reopen it, it might look a little bit like this. So you're gonna see a different screen that does not prompt with the quick card. Don't worry, we have a solution. You go over here to the left bottom corner where it says sign out and you make sure to log to click on sign out. After that, it will prompt you right back to this page and you'll click on that blue box at the bottom that says next. Now, once you've logged in, this is the first screen you will see. You need to click on this app for the Google Classroom. After that, you'll see a bunch of Google Classrooms kind of like this. This is where you're going to enter the Google Meet and find assignments. So you'll click right there on the name of your child's teacher. Now, if you have not joined a classroom before, you might see a, sign, a page like this. You just need to click on continue. And then it's going to ask you to pick, I'm a student and then you might have to join. So if you haven't joined any of the Google Classrooms, you just have to do that quickly. Once you're in the Google Meet, at the top page, you will see a Meet link right here. So in the Google Classroom, this is where you're going to click on to join live meetings. So again, this is what it looks like. You click on your child's classroom and up at the top you'll see a picture and then you'll see where it says meet link. So this is where you click when you need to join a live meeting in your child's Google Classroom. Now once you get in, if it's the first time, you're going to be prompted to do a few things. So it's going to say Google Meet wants to use your microphone and camera. You'll see a box that says allow, click on that and then you go over here and click dismiss. After that's set up, you're going to click on this little button right here that says join now. Now you're in the Google Meet. Three things to note at the bottom. There's a little microphone, there's a phone, and there's a camera. So the phone hangs you up from the Google Meet. So you only click on that at the end of a meeting. The little camera, if it's white, that means your camera's on and we can see what you're doing. If it's red, that means the camera is off. And if you want to turn the camera off and it's white, click on it and make it red. Same thing with the microphone. If it's white, that means your microphone is on and we can hear everything going on at your house. You wanna click on it and make it red to make sure that the microphone is off unless the teacher calls on you. Any problems with technology, you can always use the IT helpline provided by the Norristown Area School District. Thank you for joining us, and I hope that this video helps you to navigate the Google Classroom and Google Meets. Have a great day.